Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Pets LP Part 33. Alrighty, so in the last part, I told you guys we were going to go ahead and get Duke and Cotton pregnant, and I was also going to add on a little bit of a room before we move out, which will be in, you know, probably a few parts or so. Um, I don't want to rush it too quickly, because I really do love this house, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys kind of what I did. It's really, really simple, and I'm absolutely in okay, love with so it. So the room, oh, well, nobody's in it right now, so the light's not going to turn on. Um, here, let me have Cole come on in. As you guys can see, it is a terranium room, uh, which I thought was very much needed. Uh, so it is just a terranium room. Here we have a turtle terranium, a lizard terranium, a bird cage and one of these bird trees right here so you know we're going to have a good supply of animals you know I really really like this and then also back here I added in another dog house so the dogs could sleep uh, right next to each other I did redo the living room just a little bit you know I'm really picky on the living room the size is really really hard for me to work with um so once we move into the new house you know the house is going to look a lot better and better furnished and, and everything this is all temporary you know we're eventually going to move out into a beautiful ranch home and here I decided you know what we need some fish <laughs> so I went ahead and added in a nice little um little fish fish uh what are these called fish teraniums I don't know fish bowl but it's not a bowl fish an aqua marine I don't know I love that movie though aquamarine totes one of my favorite movies and then finally we went ahead and redid the office just a little bit. Um, I went ahead and I was watching some of my giveaway videos, which the giveaway results will be coming um, this today most likely. I've just been so, 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 so busy. Um, so sorry for the delay of that. But here it is. Uh, pretty much what I watched is in the video. They placed this Prism Art Studio uh, shelf over a desk and it looked really, really awesome. So I did the same thing. So your idea was very, very nice and I loved it. So um, that's what I did in here. And that's, that's that. And I think that is all I did. I think that's it. Uh, everything else I did was really, really minor. So, yeah. All I did. So let's go ahead and begin playing. Off camera, I went ahead and had Duke and Cotton get pregnant. So she is pregnant right now with Duke's babies, and I'm very excited. Um, and I will definitely, you know, when we get the new puppy, um, you know, Duke is going to return to the Netherworld. He, I mean, he could honestly return to the Netherworld now, but we're gonna go ahead and wait and see if they get a ghost uh, puppy. Because if they don't, they're trying again, and that puppy's going up for sale. <laughs> And, um, I will most likely also have Bruno when, uh, Bruno comes. Well, when Bruno comes. Bruno's already here. When the other ghost puppy does come, um, I'm probably going to, uh, put Bruno up for adoption. Because, you know, Captain's here. And I just wanted to show the cycle, you know, of mating and breeding your animals. Well, your dogs. So, yeah. That's probably what that's gonna, what's gonna happen. Um, so, let's see, we have a lot to do, we're really falling behind in chores, you know, with it being fall and everything, we really need to rake some leaves, so Cole, you know what, go ahead and rake some leaves, we did some this morning before I filmed, but we definitely need to do some more, so he's gonna go, go work on that. So now we have every terranium that there is available for the Sims 3 pets, we have, you know, the snake over here in Cole's room, we have the rodents, um, birds, and turtles and what's this one a lizard and even fish uh so we have you know played around almost now with every single animal that this game has to offer which is pretty cool oh my gosh he needs to fix his bell that sounds horrible that's literally what it sounds like when i sing literally like that all right andy stop uh cleaning the toilet boy and go put out the large house fire as much as I don't want to. As much as I don't want to. Alright, and Andy's off. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, we are going to have Amber clean up the house a little bit. A lot of chores that need to be done. Um, because I hate a dirty house. I really do in this house. You know, we have so much going on. We have four sims and five animals running around the house constantly. You know what I mean? So, um... They're quite a handful, but what we're going to do is have her do this, and then Bailey, uh, I think she needs to give Duke, yes, let's give Duke a little bit of a flea bath. Um, he has fleas, how, I don't know, you'd think the fleas would go right through him, but apparently not. So before you finish cleaning it, why don't you just go ahead and bathe Duke in it, and get the fleas off of him before everybody gets them. Alright, coolios. And, uh, let's see. You need to finish cleaning. Um, yeah. This house is just a mess. <laughs> we need to clean out all our inventories in this part as well. We have so much stuff in our inventory. That doesn't even make sense. You know, just so much house cleaning and chores and all that great stuff. Um, that needs to get done. Oh, we missed the party. It's a uh, spooky day, actually. I played a little bit today off camera. Spooky day in Cruz Martingale. And Andrea Hamilton threw a party. Oh, what a coincidence. Spooky day and it's a full moon. That's pretty funny. Look at these two running around playing uh, tag. How cute. All right, so let's really quickly empty out uh, um, Amber's. Why couldn't I think of her name? Amber's inventory. Oh, my goodness. What is this one? A large house fire. Jesus. Probably didn't put it out. I don't care. I do not feel like going with him to work right now. Um, let's go ahead and sell the juice keg. None of her trophies. We have some flowers to go ahead and sell. Some books. Definitely the where Bella. <laughs> Where's Bella is uh, going first. A camera. More. We'll save the good camera sell a bunch of this stuff. A leaf. A leaf. A bag of chips. Okay. A lot of it's just books that, you know, are whatever. I can go ahead and sell them. Alright, we're almost done. Alright. And we have our sloppy jalapo, but um, I think we'll keep that. A lot of it is just trophies and diplomas and ingredients and, and stuff like that. Nothing, you know, too nuts. Alrighty, so what I'm going to have everybody do is I'm going to have Brandy go shower up before bed. Actually, she's really clean right now, so she's going to continue to clean. Uh, Bailey is heading off to bed, um, pretty much. Oh, Captain just got the frickin' fleas. Are you kidding me? Alright, that's what Amber will do right now after she's done doing that. Uh, go ahead and give Captain a flea bath. I don't even care if he missed the emergency. I don't. Somebody died. Too bad. <laughs> Who are you, raking our leaves? Cole! Oh, that didn't even look like Cole. I thought it was like an old man. It's cool. <laughs> like a little dookie out here playing in the bottle. He's so cute. I love him. He has fleas again. Gagnon. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. So what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, pick up in the morning. You know, tomorrow we have to give all the animals flea baths. Um, we need to take care of all our terranium animals. And I think we will also get our very first bird possibly um so much is going on right now in this household baby making uh tons of animals tons of freaking animals right now it's insane and i also want bailey and um rose to go enter their first competition so yay i will see you guys in the morning Alrighty, so good morning everybody so today is actually pretty exciting because it is cool water's birthday he is going to go to school today and everything and, you know, do, do the usual day before he comes home and comes a young adult. We also got this notification saying, hey, you should probably visit Andrea Hamilton because that bitch is about to drop dead. So, 
um, we are going to have um, Amber go over there and, you know, see her and everything and say, hey, girl, what's up? You know, I just wanted to come see you before you died and everything. Um, so we're definitely going to go ahead and do that. But before we do that, let's uh, go ahead and comfort Misa Bruno just a little bit. Let's talk to him, feed him a treat, and um, scold him for being destructive. Yes. Teach him that is not okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... Oh, it's very foggy out this morning. Let's go visit the Hamilton household. And um, I'm just going to have Bailey go ahead and make sure all the animals in the triniums are okay. Clean their cages, fill everything. Um, Bones is definitely needing a little bit of care. Let's go repair some of the stuff before you... Uh, do anything Andy and Andy will be coming an elder tomorrow which is crazy but yeah he's gonna go over there and repair that uh, perks of being a firefighter he is super super duper handy um, you know we've had broken sinks computers everything and Andy is the one to clean them I'm not clean them to fix them <laughs> he's so useful he really is um, going to Let's see, make this sink unbreakable because these are the things that continue to break over and over and over again. So he might as well kind of spend the day just making sure things are, you know, unbreakable. <laughs> we can improve the graphics or make it unbreakable. We're going to make it unbreakable because that has broken before. Um, okay. I think that's all we need to do right now. Um, let's see, is Amber, Amber, no. You were supposed to go to Andrea's house. Oh, nobody's home right now, damn it. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, increase our household just a little bit. We're going to get a bird, our very first bird. This bird we're going to put on the bird tree. So we can get a really nice, good view of it. We're going to get a large bird. And we're going to get a blue and gold macaw. You, okay, these are your options. An African gray parrot, a blue and gold macaw, and a cockatoo. I'm pretty sure if you go out and everything, you can actually get more. So um, we're just going to come in here and do this. Rumble. And here's our little blue and gold macaw. How cute. All right, um, let's fill the food, and um, you can actually teach teach the bird to talk. We're going to teach the bird some songs. Um, it's pretty cool once you teach them how to do this. I'm pretty sure it can uh, bring up your charisma and everything. No, because you're about to age up. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, we need, we're going to name it. Lou. <laughs> Lulu, because I think that's pretty cute. All right, so now we have Lulu. We're going to teach her how to do songs. Come on, Amber, talk to her. She's like, I'm not dealing with it right now, bitch. Come back another time. Whatever, girl. Whatever. See, this chipmunk has been out here for a long time. We're going to catch it because it seems like it just really wants to get caught. And uh, it hasn't gone away yet, so we might as well just catch it. <laughs> it's been days now, and it's like, just take me, please. I'm guessing a raccoon came and uh, knocked this over or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we're going to go ahead and rake some leaves and... Bailey's chasing cotton, but before Bailey heads out to the equestrian park, I'm going to have her go ahead and give the dogs um, some baths and everything, because uh, they have fleas right now. So she's going to give um, Duke one. Let's see, who else needs one? Cotton needs one, and Captain needs one. Bruno can't get them yet, because he's just a puppy, but uh, yeah, we're definitely going to go ahead and uh, give them all a quick little flea bath, because it's so very needed. <laughs> I wonder how this would work. I really want to know how this would work. You're a freaking ghost. How are you in this bathtub getting scrubbed? You go through walls. Like, how is her hand not going through Duke? I'm not even going to question it. I'm just a little confused. 
What was that, an earthquake? Are you effing kidding me? There was just an earthquake? And they better check in with work and see if they need any help. Alrighty, everybody. <laughs> I guess. Um, I mean, how do you check in with work? This is my first ever earthquake. Uh, you know? I guess we uh, click on this and go, go to work. I... Respond to emergency. Okay. Andy, forget about this. Go, boy. Go, boy. We're, uh... Alright, we'll be right there with him in a second. But first, uh, let's go ahead and have Bailey not go play in the freaking leaves that we just raked up. But, uh, go give Cotton a flea bath. Alright, let's head over here with Andy. An earthquake in Appaloosa Plains. I heard there was an earthquake in California yesterday. I'm so scared of uh, earthquakes and tsunamis. Oh, you guys have no idea. All right. Come on, Andy. You got this. Is This is his first ever earthquake. All right. He's doing it all by himself, pretty much. Look at him. Oh, my God. This is intense. This is intense. Brittany Coker is, oh, why do I find this funny? Why do I find that funny? I've never seen Sims like lay under piles of stuff like that. I find that hilarious. Is that bad? It's probably bad. All right, where's the gas leakage? What do you mean the gas leakage? How the hell do you even know where that is? I don't know. Right here? I think it's right here. No? Dude, I don't freaking know. What the hell, man? I don't know. <laughs> this isn't my uh, my specialty. Um, yeah, we could we could totally take stuff from these people, but we won't. We won't. I'll be good for now. Um, but we're going to go ahead. I guess as much as I don't want to, I'm gonna free these Sims because I find it so funny. Alright, let's go clear some more rubble. Oh, this one's a firefighter, so we definitely have to help her. Oh, Alright. Girl, you're a firefighter. Go help us find where this gas leak is. Because I don't know what a gas leak is in here. I don't know. So you really need to help me out. Because <laughs> I have no idea. Gas leakage? What do you mean? Would it be the stove, maybe? Yes. Okay, it's the stove. Alright, cool. We did it. Awesome. We only got 650 simoleons for that. Are you effing kidding me? Did Andrea die? Okay, see, this is what happens when the game tells you to go visit somebody and you don't. Andrea freaking died. Andrea Hamilton. Or now Martingale. No, Hamilton. She was always a Hamilton. Just died. Um. Um. She wasn't home when we tried to visit. So, uh. Rest in peace, Andrea. You know you were my girl. Are you effing kidding me? So many emergencies. What's going on now? Andrew, he just peed himself too because you assholes. Oh my goodness. There's so much I wanted to do today and I literally could not do any of it. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're going to go ahead and give Captain a flea bath. How are you over here? She needs to be cleaned up, so we're going to come over here with Bailey and um, go ahead and clean her hooves and brush her and scold her for being nosy. No, not nosy. No. Nosy? No. Noisy. <laughs> Sophia Martingale wants to know if Andy Waters would like to go on it. No. <gasps> Look at this adorable gnome. I have never seen this gnome, and I want this in real life. This is the sort of gnome I would have in my freaking yard. You know, a Fraser Bunny riding a llama. That is like Sims, Sims, 
legacy just in one little gnome. Or was it an alpaca? I don't know. I think it was it was a llama. It's definitely a llama. Um Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. I don't know why the hell she's all the way over here. In the next part, somebody's gonna have the babies. They're gonna have their little, you know. Why do you still have fleas? Oh my goodness. <sighs> she's going to have her puppies. And I'm very excited for that. So with that being said, uh, we're going to end this part here. In the next part, like I said, she's going to have her puppies. And we're going to get a little organized with these pets. Because they are just running this freaking house. And I'm not okay with it. I want these pets to listen. So <laughs> scolding and praising will definitely be enforced. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Oh, is he dealing with the earthquake still? Oh my gosh, he still is over here. He's doing it all by himself. You go, Andy. Where's the other Sim? We'll do this really quickly. <laughs> She's back here. <laughs> Why did I find that so funny? She's back here. <laughs> oh, is she having the puppies? Oh, it's, ha, totally forgot about Cole's birthday. Oh, poor Cole. There's just so much going on. Oh, poor Cole. I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Your sister and mom are here to watch. All right. He got the avant-garde trait. Cool. What if we, like, actually grew up like that? I don't know if I would like that. I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So, <laughs> I will end this part here now. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.